Welcome to Ghoul Jam News, I'm your host JRE, and let's begin. Red Velvet's Joy in need of a diet? So, people are telling Joy that she needs to lose weight. You know, like, people like netizens and people of the internet, you know, audience people. Hold up, let me see these pictures. You know, you know what I call that? You know how, I just looked at Joy's pictures. You know what I call that? Normal. But, I don't know, in today's standards in the Korean culture, from what I've seen, their body image for what is normal or what should be is really, really skinny. Look, Korean culture, my culture, totally different thing. But to me, that looks normal. Now, Joy, if you're probably not even going to watch this, but, you know, to the people that are watching it, Joy, lose weight if you need to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, you can lose weight. But don't, like, hate your body. Like, for me, I lost weight because of health. You know, I knew that I'm getting older. I knew that um, if I kept uh, eating the way I did, uh, it would affect me later in life. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're just going to lose weight just because someone else tells you to lose weight, and it's not because of your decision, that just doesn't seem right. But people are saying that she needs to lose weight because she's chubby or like, or a little, little, little thicker. Yo, a girl with some thickness though? Hwasa from Mamamoo. Hwasa from Mamamoo. My god, I love. Thank the lords. I love every person and every type of body type. You know, you can't really judge someone just from their body type, obviously. But even if you're super skinny, as long as you love yourself, that's the only thing that matters, I think. Put in the comments down below what you guys think about Joy from Red Velvet in this situation. If you want more information on this topic, links in the description down below. Go check them out. Girls Day apologized to viewers. So, from what I've heard, Girls Day had this kind of rude behavior on the, the show called Coon TV, right? Am I, am I, I'm guessing? Coon TV? Uh, I haven't really seen it. I'll probably watch it right after this. But they apologized for it, that how they acted and all. To me, I was talking with the people that were watching it and they were putting their input on it. And of course, you know, it's a back and forth battle you know, of, you know, was it right or was it wrong? Maybe they should have better composure. I don't know. Even the host of the show apologized, saying that he was a little bit immature of the way how the show processed. So he apologized as well. Uh, girls, they apologized of, the, of how they acted around in that show. What do you guys think? Put in comments down below about that girls' day, though. Tao about to do a solo in China. Yo, Tao, you about to put out something in China? Some song. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna, it's gonna be like rewind. Stop. Rewind. I know that that wasn't your song. Uh, but that rap part though of the towel. I'm just saying that's my favorite. Stop. Rewind. Rewind. First of all, we gotta stop and rewind because Tao is actually preparing a solo in China. Also, a U.S. debut probably, which is weird to me. I'm like, what? With an American producer? What? I already fanboy because Tao is one of my biases. Um, I mean, there's Chris, Luhan, and Tao. I'm not gonna choose another EXO member because it feels like that uh, I'm cursed or something. <sighs> but Tao, you do you. I don't know what the situation with you and EXO and SM is, but you putting out solo in China, and yeah, super dope. I can't wait for that. Luhan to be a father. I don't even have to waste my time on that. That's a rumor. That's a stupid rumor made by citizens, made by people. Next, <laughs> you can look in the links down below if you want to read more into that. That's just. Mm -mm. Hey, well, maybe, maybe, no, no, maybe, I could be wrong, but no, come on, I mean, you never know, but nah. Girls' Generation Stylist sentenced to three years in prison. What? Girls' Generation Stylist impersonation, like, she wasn't really a Girls' Generation Stylist, but she kind of pretended to be one, and she kind of, like, did, like, defrauded some people. Saying like, you know, so-and-so is going to happen in this music video and then they have to pay them up and all that. It's kind of interesting. This story is really interesting because I didn't even hear about it, I guess. Um, the link is definitely in the link down below. I want you guys to check that out. But, Lee, a 26-year-old female, she literally defrauded 400,000 plus dollars. Like, this, is, this is converted to US dollars from 14 people. According to reports, she was an assistant stylist until she lost that job, and then from then she pretended to become a stylist for Girls' Generation and Shining. How? I don't know. Crazy people do that. I mean, I play pretend I'm a K-pop idol, but I don't want to deal with the pressure and uh, <sighs> slave contracts. Anyway, she defrauded some people for the most craziest thing that you can check out in the link down below. Go check it out. It's pretty crazy. Anyways, 
that's it for today. I'm your host, JRE. This is Gold Jam News, and thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, bye for now.